One more tool that we want to recommend to you from a neurocentric perspective is a very simple tool, but it's called a Z-Vibe. Now, this was originally developed for uh, oral rehabilitation for children, uh, particularly with some type of disability, but we found it to be a very effective and useful tool for a lot of different things. So basically, it's a very small tool. Uh, the tip uh, that's available has different textures on it, which can be very useful when you're doing sensory rehabilitation on people. Sometimes they need a, a challenge of different textures. And on top of that, if you screw it uh, the bottom tight, it actually begins to vibrate. So in addition to texture, you also are able to do very discrete vibration testing. And this can be very important for a lot of different issues, particularly where people have small injuries or scars. Uh, as an example, we often use this on tattoos. Uh, tattoos are obviously given by are created by thousands of little stabs from a needle. And so they actually do cause some changes to the surface of the skin. And the nervous system is often aware of that. So as an example, she has a tattoo here on her hand. Uh, we'll just do a quick test uh, of texture and then vibration. So let's look at uh, shoulder range of motion on you. All right, good. So we see where she's at. Now, if I just turn the vibration on and set it on this tattoo, Obviously, we're going to stimulate receptors around this tattoo that are responsible for feeling vibration. After, while we're doing that, we'll see if we create a change, which there actually is a change. I'm now gonna flip it over and use the other side with a different texture, and not as good. So this is the kind of stuff that you're actually able to identify, and as you get deeper into neurocentric training, we talk a lot about the skin and the different types of receptors and what types of stimuli they respond to because in certain instances that can really matter. Now on top of that, we often use a Z-Vibe for the face and for the mouth particularly. One thing that we have been looking at over the last 10 years or so is evidence that whenever we vibrate the teeth, particularly the middle teeth in the front, it actually activates a part of the area or part of the brain called the supplementary motor area, which helps prepare the body by stabilizing the midline. So as an example of another way that we use this, we're gonna do a quick midline muscle test on, on Micah. So we're gonna look at her sternocleidomastoid. So she's gonna turn her head, tilt her head forward, and just push into my hand. And that should be a lot stronger than it is. And now all that we're gonna do is we're gonna have her take the Z-Vibe and hold it between her teeth. We'll make sure that she's okay with that vibration. All right, so that's kind of buzzing hopefully activating that supplementary motor area. And we're gonna recheck this midline musculature, push into my hand, and that's about 50 to 60% stronger than what she had before. So these are the kind of things that we play with a lot. Obviously, when we're dealing with the brain, we're looking for very specific stimuli to create immediate changes in uh, pain, range of motion, and motor function. And this is one of the most valuable tools that we use. We carry it with us everywhere uh, because we can use it on hands, feet, legs, and the mouth, as long as you make sure that you clean it first. So <laughs> this is a Z-Vibe, um, and again, really, really great tool for uh, neurocentric approach.